Allow me to state the obvious. Mule Day is a big, big deal in Colombia. If you've been to a past year, you know it's festivals, shows, markets, contests, and of course, the big downtown parade on Saturday featuring the Mule Day Queen. We of course celebrate one of God's greatest creations, the mule. Picked as Mule Day Queen this year, is Anissa Grimes. To have this is every little girl's dream. She's a nurse's assistant here at Marie Regional Medical Center. And there's a reason why this work speaks to her so much. My father passed from brain cancer about two years ago, specifically stage four glioblastoma. Helping people is Anissa's purpose. So I'm planning to become a surgical technologist. Through social media posts, Anissa heard the story of Carly McGee. At 18, Carly was diagnosed with cancer and has gone through 12 cycles of chemo, six weeks of radiation, and surgery to remove two tumors, <laughs> all by her 20th birthday. And so Anissa decided this Mule Day was going to need a second crown. They are not matching. They're very similar, but I wanted to do something that really stood out for hers that could be recognizable. I thought it kind of looked like Miss America's crown because she's the honorary Mule Day Queen, the very first. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wanted to share this experience with someone else. I was like so shocked. I didn't know what to say. Well, Carly said yes to also wearing a crown and riding in the Mule Day Parade through here. This new friendship ranges from talks about all things beauty. Oh, oh, thanks, girl. I got them done at the pronouns. <laughs> to talks about upcoming treatments. So you're going to St. Jude tomorrow? Yes, for scans. For scans, okay. Yes. I, got, I got a good feeling. Got a good feeling for you. Night falls as Columbia moves closer to a Mule Day parade where two queens will make history. <laughs> Makes me cry thinking about it. Yeah, I'm an emotional yeah. person. <laughs> I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5.